Well, the dairy farm in Bosque Farms we told you about earlier this week that was trying to keep up with the demand during the crisis is now looking for answers tonight after someone stole milk and eggs from their creamery. News 13's Brady Wakayama is here with details. Brady. Dean, the owners of D. Smith Dairy Farm are disappointed that someone would steal from them, especially with so many families in need. Please understand that we are doing our best to supply what we can to you as soon as possible. This is Erica D. Smith, the owner of D. Smith Dairy Farm in Bosque Farms. We told you about how her business is trying to meet the demand for the milk and egg shortage in stores. But after our story aired and after one of the big grocery chains in the small town told their customers they were short on dairy products, the unthinkable happened Tuesday night around 10. Somebody um, broke into our creamery and stole milk and eggs. She says four half gallons of milk and two dozen eggs were stolen. They found out they were missing the next day when they were doing inventory. Got a lot of people, um, I think, that are in panic mode because they're used to going to the grocery store and finding these items on the shelves. And so I think there's a lot of people that are looking for alternative sources. D. Smith says they have 150 cows, so they will always have enough dairy products for people but says they are starting to limit the amount of eggs due to the high demand from their new customers. I've already gotten several phone calls from him about people being upset that we don't have eggs, threatening to not come back, and I mean, just, I've dealt with things that I haven't had to deal with before. D. Smith understands people are worried, but wants her customers to be courteous to others. There's enough to go around. Just everybody stay cool, stay calm, stay collected. We're, we'll be okay. And D. Smith says they've added more surveillance cameras and locks to their facility. Dean, back to you. Thank you. Unfortunately, that crime was not caught on surveillance video.